auditions and I am so flippin' excited, you have no idea. Hi, my name is Kat. I am 25 years old from Charlotte, North Carolina. Growing up in my town, Trinity, North Carolina, there were about seven black kids in my school. I remember I played tennis. I was practicing one day. These guys pulled up in their truck and they were just like, what are you doing? Inwards don't play tennis, you know? Get out of here and just making me feel so small. Growing up around that and in that environment, it's just not something that I wanted to put myself in. You battle with insecurities. You don't know who you are. It was hard. College was the first time where I was like, oh, this is nice. Just to be around people who don't care what color you are. People saw me as me. My freshman year at UNC Charlotte, I made the Gold Dusters dance team. And then my sophomore year in college, I said, I want to dance professionally. I tried out for the Charlotte Hornets dance team, which is the Honeybees. And at 19, I was a honeybee. Trying out for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, it's more than just dance. It's for my family. And just to show that you don't have to succumb to the environment that you grew up in. Hello, everyone. My name is Kat. For four years, I was a honeybee, which is the NBA dance team for the Charlotte Hornets. Fun fact about me, I am double jointed in my shoulder. So if you want to be freaked out, just let me know. Huh? All right. <laughs> because she is one of the ones that impressed all the judges today. I'll even come over the table. Okay. Honeybee, oh, honeybee is a man girl. girl. This is mine. Mine yes. too. She's it. Kat, she's just a fireball. She wants the job. And she's taking no prisoners. I'm here for it. Yeah, I mean, I'm here for it, too. <laughs> You're learning all the cool stuff to say, Charm, Charm, teach us some cool things Sorry, to say. Like, some it. Hollywood. I think dope is out now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so oh, cute. Oh, wow. I, think I'm I cry. cannot believe it. This is insane. It's huge. Oh, my gosh. Being on the field is the coolest thing. It's massive. Getting my little taste. It's a wrap. I want it. Getting out in front of those judges, I just wanted to show my personality and show that I love to dance and I love to entertain and go out there and be like, pick me, me. Okay, number 32, Cat. Not many people come through here, the total package, great hair, pretty face, but she's gotta learn to kick. Oh yeah. She had one good leg and one bad leg. Right. Can you tell me a joke? Um. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? there? Cat. Cat, Cat who? who? Cat's out of the bag. I'm auditioning for DC. <laughs> <laughs> and they laughed, thankfully. <laughs> but it was such a corny joke. So I'm doing jazz. Can I say sexy jazz? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. go for it, girl. Sexy <laughs> jazz. <laughs> I just forgot the whole beginning of my solo. I missed my leg on my leg turn. Katie needs to go in the trash. Cat should be a salesman. Because Cat sold us a really strong performance resume, and now that she's doing her solo, not so much. <sighs> the solo went. I'm just so mad and messing up on parts where I knew where I'm like, come on, Cat, like get it together. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Get it up there, Cat. I think I'm not I was so tired, and I was like, do not give up. Like, this is possibly what I could be doing every Sunday. 
I feel much better about this than I did solo, so I can tell you that. <laughs> Number 44, Cat, rookie candidate. I love her look, but I thought her solo was all show and no go. She's been great at everything she's done so far, and this is going to be very eye-opening. And if she does make it to training camp, she's going to have a little bit of humble pie. Mm -hmm. yes. I just wanted to throw away that cane. Okay. <laughs> I'm just hopeful. They see the potential in me to mold me into what they want me to be. Welcome number 44, Cat. I don't know what happened. I don't even know. I'm going to training camp. I could be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I'm cross and pull that foot in. Cat, did you hear that? Um, bevel your right leg. So you put seven bevel. Cat needs to pay very close attention because it's those details, especially around her knees and her feet, that's going to eat Cat up. Cat's got style, except her feet are pigeon toed too. Go to bike. Go to bike. I would say none of y'all are anywhere close to being game ready in my mind. You will get taught this routine one time, that's it. You get one night of a teacher teaching you through this choreography. Kat, you especially have to pay close attention to the feet and what's going on here. Those little details are gonna be make or break. I did come from NBA, so it's a lot more grounded style. Thanks. It's so easy for a technical dancer because it just comes naturally, but for me, it's like, think about it. Okay, good. So which one do you decide it? So I wear a lot of pink recently. For uniform fittings, we need to just look as clean and as polished as possible. This is more overwhelming than learning a dance. And I never get my nails done. I'd rather spend money on hair. So I suggest for this color. OK. So what do you think? I like it. Thank you. I've Thank you. That. OK. Sounds good. What color are you getting? Pink and gold? Ooh, you're so cool. <laughs> Yes. I have to move. I'm gonna throw up. I just got a text from my host family, and um, he said that he's basically deathly allergic to cats. How's your day? Good. I slept there one night, and now I had to find a new place to live. Hey, my host family just got back to me, and they said that he can't stay with cats. So, will you talk to Shayna today and see if she's still interested? Okay, bye. Thanks. I would rather be homeless with my cat than have to give my cat away. Not doing it. Nope, nope, nope. We have a big house. It's okay. just me and her. Stop, seriously. I'm serious, but I have a cat. <laughs> we like cats, and we have two little dogs. Do you? Yeah. Okay, I will be in touch. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Who in pink has never done a jump split before in their life? Two, three. It's OK. Oh, man. Jump splits are going to be interesting. Yeah, going to first off, you want to do it? Yep. 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 OK. Yep. Two, three, four, jump. Whoop! Yeah! Oh, no. First day split up the floor. Cat, she has a lot of people skills. She sees, sees herself as a relator, okay. but she's actually using entertainer just slightly more. So she'd be fun and sweet. Mm -hmm. Can you come with me? It's definitely nerve-wracking to have Cheryl call us in. You never know when the night is going to be your last night, and I'm just hoping it's still in my favor. Why are you out of breath from dancing or? I'm nervous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, y'all nervous, please. <laughs> Last night with Travis. Yes. Literally, he said, she's gorgeous, she's beautiful. I don't think she's ready yet as a dancer. OK. Do great performers make our team with less technical training? Yes. Are you top 36 right now? No. I know I can be top 36. I know. What Travis said and what we've not wanted to say is it might be that you do need more time. However, okay. that's what training camp is for. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. I was like, I told myself, if I get here, there's no excuses. I was trained a gymnast. So growing up as a gymnast, it was a little bit different. You know what releve means? Yes. You know what coupe means? That's where you need to work. Okay. 
I think it's just education and awareness. I think so too. I think so too. Have you looked around for other classes? I, I haven't. Y'all you know, haven't really had time yet. No, well, I haven't had a place to live yet, so we're trying to figure <laughs> living situation out. So yeah, it's just trying to find somewhere to live so I can go home. Is it because you haven't found a place yet or it's afford it? I'm sorry, guys. Well, my mom doesn't know. She, she doesn't know, know you're here? here? She doesn't know that I don't have a place to stay. Okay. So, it's just hard. Trying to, like, I want to have a place to live and be done so I can focus on this. Because mm -hmm. I didn't even get to practice today. So I was so nervous. Like, I was like, no, 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 don't call me. Because I, I know, I know once I dedicate the time, because I don't have a job, and I, and I did that on purpose to dedicate time to this. And I feel like I'm just wasting time trying to figure out a place to live and staying in hotels for no reason. Like, oh, and it's so frustrating because I want to show you guys that I can do this, you know? Mm -hmm. You never know when you're going to get cut, and you don't want the outside things to distract you. And it's just the little technical things, but Kelly and Judy are just really encouraging. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So it's the beginning of week three for training camp, and I feel like I have a game plan. My strategy today is just to own my mistakes, y'all. Right, so it's a little, it's not <clears throat> bada ba. Exactly, ladies. Let's hit. I don't pick up choreography very fast, so I'm gonna be so lost. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh man. Show me something now. Ups, but cat kept going. Rookie candidates can and usually do make show group, but just because a rookie candidate makes it doesn't necessarily mean they have made the permanent squad. We still have seven weeks of training camp left where there's a lot going on that could still have someone released from the team. So this one's Carmen. You can color her, do whatever you need to. I'm okay with anything that happens today because honestly, I mean, these are wigs, so it's easy. Lace front, and this is what yes, you have right now. That's what I have right now. Cat brought in two other different cat looks. This one's Nikki. This one, I don't have a name for her. Not everyone understands what it takes to maintain these on a regular no basis. Yeah. Do what color you need to in that way. I can have this with the bathroom. Perfect. <laughs> I was just so excited because this choreography is so cool. It's so much fun, and it flows really nicely. Thank you. I'm not impressed with cat. Y'all got to clean up the small things. Okay. I thought Kat is showing some good style, but she's struggling still with some of the choreography. Yeah, I liked watching her dance. I just don't think I was like drawn to her. But she's strong. Great job. Wasn't it fun? Yeah. Isn't he great? And he just moved to LA and he used to be right here in Plano. But wait, there's airplanes. Okay. Good work. We will see everybody tomorrow very quickly in my office. I need to see Kat and Christina. If you two will stay and everybody else will see you manana. OK? All righty. Good night. Kelly called my name saying that I need to go do an office visit. I pray there are no cuts tonight. You're never safe on this team. Until Kelly gives you that uniform, you're never safe. I'm not ready to go. I don't even want to hear my name called in the office. Kat? Hey, y'all. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Just hanging in there. Are you just hanging? One moment at a time. That's all I can handle. The thing that concerns me is whether or not you can handle our choreography. Do you feel like you're getting the routines? I feel more comfortable with them. I think I'm not a take home girl. I'm like a take two, three day <laughs> home girl. You're still not the top dancer. I mean, we're still four people over on roster. 
but this conversation is not to threaten you. It's to okay. encourage you okay. that we see progress. We just want okay. to see where you are with all those life challenges. Thank you. What's your life update? Yeah, much better, much better. So Kat is with a friend. They're taking care of them till... What state is Kat Minnesota. residing in? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then I'm in an apartment. Kelsey and I live together now. And yeah, so not living in a hotel changed my whole entire life. That was, that was so hard. Going home and then having Kelsey there too, world of a difference. You have a place to live. Got a place to live. Kat's got a home. I'm gonna make this team, y'all. <laughs> make this team, I told y'all. You have people in your corner. Oh yeah. And that speaks volumes. Yeah. Good night. Good night, thank you. Okay. I appreciate you. Good night. I think we'd ever have a problem with her making a conversation with anybody. No. <laughs> well, she makes us smile. I hope she can hang in there. I want to be in that 36. I've had a glimpse and I have a taste, and I don't want to let that go. I want this so bad, y'all. <laughs> Group one. you together are a force, seriously, like a force. He called him a force, and that's great for someone like Kat, who's struggling still with some of the choreography. That was a great compliment. You're doing the wrong step, Kat. Walking and doing the steps is a little bit more difficult. Up, chasse, up, chasse. You have to walk, 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 sashe, walk, sashe. It can trip you up a little bit if you're not thinking about it. Line, five, six, seven, eight, you're there. Two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and hold eight. Cat's pretty strong. Are you excited to hear Jason Witten in the broadcast booth again this year? So no, he is going to be on the field this year, baby. So that is going to be so exciting. I mean, he brings a consistency. Did she just say baby to a lead evening news anchor? You know what? We're going to go to the Super Bowl this year because it's on my birthday. So that's yeah. going to be a whole treat. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. This is the first time that they've done this as a group. When you're in that tight pyramid, they have to be all together, or it will really stand out the ones that are still making mistakes. And seven, eight, and one. Whoa! Kat, you were wrong. Figure out which way you would diagonal your body. It's intense. We felt it in the locker room before we even got out on the field today. And just being on the field and being on the turf, it makes it real. Sierra called me into the office. Oh, it's always nerve wracking. So hopefully it's a good office visit. I can make him laugh and we can go in there and keep going to practice tomorrow. How are you? Good. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little nervous this time. <laughs> you have the potential of being so bright and so bubbly and so memorable. But I have to make sure, A, you can handle this job as a dancer and as a media ambassador. Mm -hmm. Right now, I would say you're not ready for interviews. Okay. Your answers, they really didn't even make sense a lot of the time because you just were talking, 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 talking. Mm -hmm. In the dance studio, I think you've improved. But last night, you lost everything when you were performing. Okay. Look at your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, and no. I, I know you're concentrating on where you're going, but it yes, never man. lightens up. No. I mean, this, this is not an easy thing to do. We don't take that for granted either. Your commitment has been admirable. I want to continue working hard. Like, I want to be on this team. <laughs> I told y'all, once I'm here, no excuse. So, we have work to do. We have work to do. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, woo. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> it's my third office visit, so third time's a charm. I'm still here. And we just talked about the things that I need to improve on. I got a little teary-eyed because it just means so much to me, so I want to do so well. I want to do so well, and I want to make this team. So moving forward, I'm just going to show them I can do that. Yeah. 
if her teammates didn't feel so strongly about her, I'd be in a different place with her. And I'm like, hell no, I want that cool love. I am not losing all my innocence if I am not. She does this every time. Hey, hey, anybody want to go get coffee? Cat, you do that all the time. You kind of look around like, oh, hello, what did everybody else do? You have to keep looking at your hand and your pose. Yes, ma'am. Oh, let's go take pictures. <laughs> Amazing. Yay. I'm just going to have fun. That's what I do. That's what I'm great at. Cat, we can take a coffee break on. She needs no help. She's practiced, too. She's a star. She's been Nessa Williams meets Beyonce. And her expressions change. They look great. Please do. They look good. <laughs> She's one of the most photogenic cheerleaders in our history. If anybody ever sealed their fate in a photo shoot, this was very timely for her. Training camp is winding down, and everything's on the line. We just have to fight through and show our personality, show our skills to show that we can make this team. Don't pull up before your leader counts you off. Okay, next group. Good job, guys. Yeah, roll with the punches here. The girls just keep telling me to smile and pretend like you're on this team, so that's what I'm gonna do till I make this team. It's almost like, who do you not want to cut? And why? Okay, got it. Yeah. Cat's yeah. going to be a strong performer. I'd like to see her mistake free. Cat, I thought she had a lot of power. You know, you see her from here when you're looking on the field. You don't have to look at the board. True. I think she has great projection. I thought she did really well. I was pleasantly surprised. Me too. Again, actually. First few weeks. I mean, you remember her solo with the cane? I do. I didn't think I would be sitting here watching her at this stage of the game. She looks like she belongs here. She does. We've been saying all summer that we're going to pick 36. And after the last rehearsal, that's changed. We want to just kind of give you guys our decisions so that it won't be looming over us tonight. So we're not going to have a squad of 36, but look around. Look all the way around. Package of dynamite. It's so crazy being out there and it feels real. I want to like hang it on my wall. We're roommates and our lockers are right next to each other. <laughs> I'm so proud to see you. Thank you. We've practiced this a million times without the crowd, and when we have the crowd, it's going to be electric. This is literally the best experience in my entire life. Like, I can die happy now. Becoming a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader is honestly the biggest blessing in the, in the whole entire world. From the moment I walked in from tryouts, yep. I just had this notion, like, nothing's gonna stop me. And then I get into training camp. Wow, this is a lot harder than it looks on TV. Oh, cat, cat. I wasn't the strongest dancer. Get it up there, cat. I wasn't the most trained dancer. Do you know what releve means? Yes. Do you know what coupe means? But I have thick skin. The thing that concerns me is whether or not you can handle our choreography. I like a little kick in the butt. I'm gonna make this team, y'all. <laughs> make this team, I told y'all. Okay. Okay, seaside. They knew what I brought to the table, and that was my personality. She's a star. They look good. <laughs> Chasing your dreams, even though it's the scariest thing in the entire world, it's completely worth it.